This episode is brought to you by Tanny, the hot new line of premium men's underwear. Hello, I'm Aaron Marino, and this is the Alpha M Project. Now, if you're anything like me, you love a good comeback story. Rocky, Rudy, Robert Downey Jr. Well, today, we're going to add another name to the list, Miguel. That picture was taken one year ago. Well, since then, a lot's changed for Miguel. So let's meet him and hear his inspirational story. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Miguel, what's up, you, man? How you doing? You look incredible. Guys, check it out. Miguel has lost 100 pounds in 12 months. It's been a long road. Come on in, let me tell you about it. Cool. All right, Miguel, let's hear the story. You emailed me probably about three weeks ago, right. and um, the story that you told me was just really touching and inspirational to me. Um, paint the picture. What happened? What's going on? All right, well, um, I was just like any other average uh, high schooler, um, and uh, I was a boxer. I played a lot of recreational sports. Uh, I did a lot of things. I was very active. I was, I was pretty fit mm -hmm. uh, during my high school years. And what happened after that was uh, I actually got diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. It was, uh, it's called ankylosing spondylitis. But uh, basically what happens is the lower lumbar disc, they actually fuse together. It's, it's practically, it's, it's rheumatoid arthritis. Um, and this was me at 18 years old. And that is debilitating. Absolutely. And so what happened next? So um, basically I couldn't even get up and walk. I, I couldn't even dress myself. And uh, I, I, was, I was bedridden for months, for approximately six months. I couldn't even get up. So you're bedridden. Right. You're not moving much. You're not doing anything, really. Exactly. And so you gain weight. Absolutely. And uh, I guess I never really understood what emotional eating was mm -hmm. uh, until I went through that. And uh, it was pretty bad. You I were just, depressed. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, I was, I was absolutely depressed. And a lot of times when people are depressed, they, it, it manifests in different ways. In Miguel's case, he ate because eating is pleasurable and this sort of masks some of the pain that you were in, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally as well. Right. So what was the breaking point? Well, like I told you in the email, um, I was engaged to be married. I was with uh, this girl for seven years and uh, I thought I was pretty happy and one day she just up and left and she told me, I'm simply not attracted to you anymore. <laughs> oh, that's done, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty bad. And so you decided that it was time to make a change. Absolutely, yeah. And not really for her, but for me. So often we change for the wrong reasons. We change for other people as opposed to changing for ourselves. When we change for ourselves, this is when real transformations happen. Miguel, the picture that we saw, how much did you weigh? At my max weight, I was 270 pounds. What about today? Right now I'm 170. What was the catalyst to get you started? Well, in all honesty, uh, I, I started watching your videos. I started watching your nutritional videos, your uh, your workout videos. It all started really um, with male grooming because I thought that's what it's, it's that's what it starts. Right. You go into Manscape and exactly. a year later he's 100 pounds lighter, <laughs> gentlemen. Okay, right. so you you found my videos and you dug them and it absolutely. Helped. I mean, yeah, I, I got hooked instantaneously. I started watching every video. Um, I thought you know changing my wardrobe up, you know changing my hair up. That that'd be you know a way I could make myself look better sure. immediately, you know. Yeah. I can... It's amazing what happens, and I see this so often, where guys will start with one little thing, maybe taking care of their beard or getting a new haircut. They start to feel better, and it really just transcends their entire body, and it gives them sort of a little bit of incentive to keep moving forward. And so in your case, you started getting active. So as you lost weight, the back was feeling better. Yeah, as the pounds came off, I started walking, and then it transitioned to jogging, and then to running. That's what I'm talking about. So Miguel, you lose all this weight. Talk to me about your clothes. Are they big? My clothes are absolutely ridiculous. I look like an Atlanta rapper. I mean, they're super bad. <laughs> Not good, mm -hmm. gentlemen. That's one of the reasons I'm here today. I'm gonna take Miguel shopping for some great looks to make sure that he's feeling and looking as confident and sexy as I know we can. But before we go shopping, can I see some of those old clothes? Yeah, let's go take a look. Come on. All right, Miguel, let's see it. <laughs> Exactly what I expected. All right, let's start with the pants. These things are huge. What size are these? This is a 38. And you're in what now? Right now I'm a 32. Okay, guys, check it out. These things, uh, it doesn't get much worse than this. The shoes, bulky, chunky. The belt, huge. The shirt is also really big, sort of drab. Where do you wear this? This is my current work attire. You're wearing this right now? Right, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm sure you've got jeans, right? I do. Okay, let me see that. All right, let me go put them on. 
Come on, Miguel. All right. Yeah. Same thing, guys. Check it out. Shirt, monstrous, pants, gigantic, but this belt. This belt tells the story, okay? Do you mind? Yeah, absolutely, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, check this out, guys. This happens so often. When people start to lose weight, they just start adding notches to the belt. Well, Miguel is all the way down here. That is absolutely crazy. By the time you're there, you should have gotten a belt six months, 30 pounds ago. All right, Miguel, one of the things that cracked me up in your email, you were talking about even your underwear are big, right? Yeah, they're ginormous. All right, guys, check it out. Miguel's old underwear. These things are humongous. We'll deal with these later, but right now, we're gonna go shop and get you some clothes that really just show off all the hard work and, and perseverance that you've put into this body. Awesome. All right, guys, come on. Yo, that belt scene, I felt super gay. <laughs> oh yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Oh, well, it, it felt right in the moment. All right, so here's the deal, Miguel. We're going shopping. We're definitely gonna get you some new jeans, something that's a little bit more fitted. Um, we're gonna get you maybe some V-neck, something that's super sexy and clean you can wear during the summer. I'm also thinking about possibly like a dark, maybe a black with a pinstripe sport coat, something you can wear with jeans or you can dress up with a great pair of slacks, wear them out casually or somewhere professionally. Is that cool? Cool, man, I'm excited. Good. Come on, Miguel. Look. Dude, are you kidding me? Good, right? Guys, check it out. We got him a sexy ass pink fitted V-neck showing off the physique, the pecs, the guns, the sexy tat. We've got cool jeans, we've got a fabric belt, and we're even finishing it off with some great fun fashion sneaks. Miguel, this is a great look. How do you feel? I feel absolutely amazing. You look like you do. Yeah. Let's see that other outfit. All right, Miguel, let's see the sexy. Look, that's what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. Guys, check it out. The perfect slim fit black sport coat. We got a great gray shirt, great jeans, sexy black wingtips. How do you feel? I feel absolutely amazing. I'm ready to go back to work and kill it. Well, I've got a special treat for you. Let me show you. All right, let's go. All right, it's your lucky day. I reached out to my friend Adam at Tanya. I told him about you and he was inspired by your story and wanted to offer you a complete underwear makeover. So he sent this. This is your new sexy ass underwear. Open it up. I'm so excited for you to put these on. The first time I actually tried Tannies, it was like the first time I put on a tailored shirt. There is no going back. The fabric, feel that. Wow. All wow. right. That's something else. Sexy, simple. That's what's so beautiful about Tanny. They don't go over the top. It's just classic designs with amazing fabric. Guys, if you haven't tried a pair of Tannies, there's a link down below to their website, tannyusa.com. Go check them out. They're underwear. Once you try them, there is no going back. Miguel, what can I say? Just an amazing day. You're such an inspiration to me. When I heard your story, I knew that I needed to bring the cameras and let everybody else know about you. Um, just because it's, it's not every day that you meet somebody that overcomes such adversity. And you've not only overcome it, you've kicked its ass. And so, man, congratulations. I, I truly appreciate it, Aaron. And Absolutely. honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I wanna thank you and the Alpha M Project. Um, I was in a really dark place in my life and you guys really brought me up your videos really inspired me to get better. So what's next for you? Well, I definitely want to pay it forward. I've been fit, I've been fat, and I've been fit again. So I created a website, gonzafitness.com, where I'll be offering nutritional advice as well as fitness advice. Dude, that's awesome, paying it forward. Guys, link below to his website. He's been there, okay? I talk about finding your Yoda, find somebody like you, okay? Miguel, he's walked in your shoes. He knows what you're feeling like. Miguel, thank you so much for allowing me to come into your house, taking you shopping. I'm so impressed and proud of you. Thank you, Aaron. I love a good comeback story. Miguel just goes to show you. You may be down, but you're never out. My question to you is, who's next?
imagination brings a smile up to my lips. Oh, we're going. 